strike averted. Milwaukee County buses will be running tomorrow. A deadline was narrowly met this afternoon as the county responded to the union's proposal. Now, even though buses will be on the roads as normal, negotiations for a new contract between the county and bus drivers still continues. So Ben Jordan following this story, he is live in the newsroom and Ben, we understand there's still a long way to go here towards an agreement. That's right, Charles and Katie. Union drivers want several guarantees, but MCTS says they're asking for more than the county's budget has to offer. Around 100,000 people who depend on MCTS buses every day won't have to worry about finding another form of transportation in the near future. A back and forth battle between the county and its bus drivers continues to unfold, but an immediate strike was averted. We made a deal with the company. We followed through on the deal. Transit Union President James Macon says a harsh deadline they've set for the county comes after a year and a half of drivers operating without a new contract. Some drivers want more money. I talked to my members who have been at MCTS for eight, 10 years. Their paycheck today is even smaller than their paycheck was back then. But Macon tells me the key demands are better benefits, restored routes and safer working conditions for female drivers who work overnight. They would like a security guard riding the bus with all female drivers on late shifts. This is my 28th year here at Transit. I know I don't deserve to be treated like trash. Transit Director Dan Bame says the county has been in touch with the transit union on a daily basis to strike a deal. The county offering to have a third party come in to negotiate while agreeing to cover insurance co-pays for 950 drivers. The ATU is continuing to hold out for more money than frankly Milwaukee County or the transit system has. And that's just based on erroneous information. Union President Macon is frustrated the county uses the transit system's yearly surplus funds to pay for other projects, leaving bus drivers high and dry. So the public should be outroared that they take in public transportation money and bailing out the county because they pension scandal. That's ridiculous and they got to stop. The transit union says they're sending a counter proposal to the county. They're willing to remove one of their previous demands, which would allow drivers to carry guns. MPS sent us the following statement today. M MCTS uh, presented ATU Local 998 with a new offer. We look forward to our next face to face negotiation meeting scheduled for November 6th. Live in the newsroom, Ben Jordan. Today's TMJ4.